What up YouTube? We've got a brand new video for you today. We are going to be discussing the Polymer DAT trigger from Overwatch Precision. Overwatch Precision is a very reputable brand right up there with Zevtech. Um, I'm very confident in their products and this is a more of a budget friendly version of their uh, milled aluminum uh, flat trigger. But Anyway, uh, why would you want a flat trigger? Well, me, I have uh, giant eight pans used for swatting planes and climbing buildings, that kind of thing. So I prefer to have something that doesn't have that curved profile to it. It just, for me, obviously it's a matter of preference, but for me, whenever I'm drawing back on the trigger, these have been, uh, both my guns have been uh, checked, by the way, for all you safety nuts out there. But uh, whenever I'm drawing back on the trigger, it I usually place the trigger just above that first, uh, that first crease right there. And it just makes it more consistent for me. This right here is a, another identical Glock 34 with a factory trigger. And as you can see right there, the pressure tends to be right here on the bottom of the finger, which I like it right here at the top. And if you do have a flat profile, it just uh, makes it a little bit more consistent for you whenever it comes to your uh, trigger pull. So, about this trigger, uh, it does reduce the uh, amount of pre-travel on it. And as a matter of fact, if you can see right there, there are two little, hang on, where the Two little marks, okay? Now, what the, that mark is right there. That first one is gonna be the trigger at rest, and the second one is going to be the wall, all right? Now, the uh, break and the reset are relatively the same between these two, but if you can see the marks on, on that one, this right here, is factory, which is going to be a lot more pre-travel. Almost, looks almost double, but not quite. Uh, it reduces it by about a quarter. So whenever you're transition, whenever you go to take that first shot, you have less, uh, less pre-travel, which is always a good thing in my opinion. Um, but anyway, uh, one important thing to note that whenever you bar are buying any sort of aftermarket trigger for a Glock, is that you want to make sure that your drop safety is still engaged and um, I actually made that mistake before I bought from a less than reputable manufacturer I bought one of their uh, just the trigger shoes on it and they actually did a recall on it because of the uh, drop safety was uh, disengaged where that would come into play is I'm pretty hard on guns and if you're out there LARPing doing your thing and you wind up falling on your ass you don't want obviously you don't want your uh, drop safety to disengage and wind up shooting you in the, in the leg. So very important thing to have. I would not compromise on that. Retail on this thing is about 60 bucks, but I got this one from Omaha Outdoors, which was $55 plus free shipping. Not a bad, not a bad deal. And also I wound up buying a Zebtech three and a half pound, yeah, three and a half pound connector that I put in there to drop the uh, pull weight. Now this is a Glock uh, 34, so it comes standard with a four and a half pound connector. Uh, normal Glocks like your Glock 17, Glock 22, whatever, are gonna come with a five and a half pound. But three and a half pound is really good for, uh, if you like to shoot competitively, that kind of thing, you uh, definitely want a little bit less weight on the trigger. So that's what I decided to go with. And uh, uh, overall, I got to shoot about 500 rounds with this thing yesterday. Performed great and there's no play or slop or wiggle in it. I mean, it is a nice solid trigger, just as solid as the one that comes in the factory, if not more so in my opinion. But if that's something that you're looking into, you want a nice upgrade, a uh, little bit less, a uh, little bit less pre-travel, and you like that flat profile, I would highly, highly recommend going with the Overwatch Precision. Um, obviously, I mean, if you, it's up to you whether or not you want to go with the uh, the full milled aluminum one, but. If you uh, don't mind using polymer, this may be the trigger for you. So if you have any questions on it, on how it performs or anything like that, um, by all means, drop a note in the comments or if you need a link for a video on how to install a new trigger bar, I would suggest either uh, YouTubing it or if you like, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to uh, get you a link, okay? So uh, that's pretty much all I got on it overall, my opinion of it. I mean, granted, I've only got 500 rounds to it. It's an amazing trigger, great buy. So thanks for watching.